the senior hurling semi-final appearance since 1948 and sadly for them they are missing five key players. Peter Kelly wears the fullback jersey instead of the injured Tomas Brady but it's anticipated that he will go man to man with last year's hurler of the year. At centre field Alan McCrabb has a new partner with team captain Johnny McCaffrey being moved from wing back where he played against Limerick. Former Tipperary hurler Rhino Dwyer leads the dubs on the 40, but it's also a special day for full forward Liam Ryan. The 33-year-old makes his first appearance in the championship with Dotsie O'Callaghan and Paul Ryan in the corners. It's another record-breaking day for goalkeeper Brendan Cummins as he plays in his 66th championship match this afternoon and thus surpasses the legendary Christy Ring's number of championship games for Cork. The new kid on the block, John O'Keefe, deservedly retains the right half-back jersey and stands besides two key players for Tipperary, Conor O'Mahony and the irrepressible Porig Marr. The Tipperary attack looks too hot to handle from a Dublin perspective, especially that inside line of Owen Kelly, John O'Brien and Lar Corbett. A crowd of over 35,000 expected and possibly more for this All-Ireland. <laughs> It's an All-Ireland semi-final that epitomises the great rivalry that exists within the GA world. The Dublin Jackeens against the country Kutchy Cousins. And yet those closest to the Dublin team may have strong yearnings for the Premier County. Like Dublin centre-back Joey Boland, his mother's from Laura, Paul Ryan's father's from Holy Cross, Shane Ryan's father's from Money Goal, and his late grandfather Seamus O'Rean is a former president of the GA. Match official is Colin McAllister from Ahada in County Cork. It's his first big game and this second All-Ireland Senior Hurling semi-final is underway with Dublin winning the toss playing from left to right. In other words they'll be facing into the Hill 16 in the second half. It's a strategic move I'm sure by Dublin just like the footballers. Beautiful sunshine, very calm day, puffy clouds uh, above us which means hopefully there'll be no rain but the start the first 15 minutes will be crucial for the National League champions, because this is a battle of champions. Dotsie O'Callaghan, David O'Callaghan, official title, drops this in to Brendan Cummings. Easy ball for him. Pass outside is to the available man, Torek Ma. Goes for distance, dropping it in. Dangerous ball, is there a connection? Good stick work by Gary Maguire. Took a hefty challenge as well from Noel McGrath. But that was a very important save first touch for Gary Maguire yeah every keeper Marty likes to get the, the first one into his hand and uh, you know that'll be a confidence booster for Gary Maguire no wind no rain just glorious sunshine David O'Connor lays it off as Alan McCraw second attempt at a score but this one is wide he is Dublin's third top scorer in the championship behind Paul Ryan and Ryan O'Dwyer. He scored six points in the championship so far. Tuck out by Brendan Cummings. Liam Ryan, interestingly, is out there in the uh, midfield area. It looks like Ryan O'Dwyer and Paul Ryan are playing in a two man full forward line. This ball is down towards Ryan. He's obviously strategically again Dublin tried to back up that defence with as many men behind the ball as possible ball sent in it's a fast ball into Peter Kelly now Corbett is sniffing and the ball is in the net just a touch it's Lara Corbett who scored 6-6 in the championship campaign so far including 4-4 against Waterford Peter Kelly didn't control it Corbett just put out the hurl got the touch goal temporary well, Peter Kelly is more of a wing back that's converted to a full back, I think, in the absence of Tomas Brady, and he showed a bit of indecision there. Should have just made sure Lark Corbett get the ball and it made Safford tips. The worst possible start for the league champions. Picked up here by Paul Schutte. Lays it off. Dublin, psychologically, will have to see if their cage has been rattled because that's exactly what they didn't want. Michael Kahn prominent at left corner back all through this championship campaign. Cahill again, intercepts, comes back out towards the road run. 
thing defensively momentarily. Ball down towards Owen Kelly and company. Dublin under pressure. Lark Corbett is hovering as well. So too is the Bonner Mar. Joey Boland is there. Shane Durkin is the number seven. Niall Corcoran is there as well. Out comes right corner back Michael Park bursting forward. Gives it to Shane Durkin. Diagonal ball over towards the wing to try and open up this temporary defence. This is Alan McCraft, all-star hurler. Hits it from just along the sideline. That is a magnificent score by any stretch of the imagination and by any standards. A welcome, welcome score for Dublin. Well, that's the thing that Dublin have to do, Marty. They're, they're one man short in the fall because they're playing a man out the feet. They have to play it short and keep, put the man in direct possession. Good call. First and forward is Niall Corkwell. Down towards Paul Ryan. His tussle with Paddy Stable in the right corner back will be interesting to say the least. All star fullback Paul Kern gives it to Brendan Cummins. Equally, Christy Ring's record in the Munster final, surpassing it this afternoon in his 66th championship match. And that's going to be a puck out for Gary Maguire. That was a great pass out there from um, Cummins taking the ball back from Paul Curran and uh, yeah, I would have expected more from Seamus Callan. There was five yards between himself and his defender. He could have run at him and put the ball back in low into one Kelly or Lark Corbett. Very poor from Callan. Liam Rush goes up for it, knocks it down. Johnny McCaffrey lays it off. Shane Durkin testing out the uh, quality of the temporary defence. Paddy Stapleton shows his metal and his ability. Good work by Ryan on the wire. Wins the ball back first, Paul Ryan. Two temporary players go after him. Comes first, Brendan Cummins. Under pressure. Momentarily, we've got old Ryan. Gives it long. Straight ball down the centre. Easily anticipated. Sent back by John McCaffrey. Liam Rush, he's only scored a point in the championship so far. But what about this? Great score by Liam Rush. He's been used more or less as an extra defender right through this championship campaign. He's a forward of real class, and you can see why. Wonderful point. Well, his most natural position is probably centre back, Marty, but that was a crucial score, right? Because you have to get those once you go for them. Coming forward is Shane Durkin. Liam Ryan. Conor O'Mahony is with him, standing over him. The referee, Carl McAllister, is going to give a throw ball. It's interesting that Reiner Dwyer is at the edge of the square because he's the man who scored the goals against Limerick. Scored 3 2, and Dublin are hoping to try and feed him as much as possible. Here's Ryan. Playing in his first championship match of 2011. 33 years of age. Big day for him. Free for Dublin. Yeah, we're just having a look at it there. Just, just hands around the player there and blocking, blocking frontal charge maybe. And uh, free to Dublin. Oh, not that not that easy, but um, Paul Ryan is an expert at, at freeze. And uh, if he gets this, things will be back level. But just looking around the field, Marty, um, the Dublin have Johnny McCaffrey just playing in the hole just in front of the centre back or behind the centre back as the occasion demands. So obviously they're hoping to block the supply going into the full forward line. Here's Paul Ryan. Hits his first point in this All Ireland semi final. Top scorer for his county with two goals and 38 points in the championship. Quick puck out from Brendan Cummins to Paul Kerr. Goes long. Seamus Callan. Hover. Gives it to Larry Corbett. He's the danger man. Hurler of the year 2010. Serious contender in 2011 as well. Two touches. One goal, one point. Seven minutes played. Yeah, nice run from Larry Corbett coming onto the breaking ball there from Paul Curran's delivery and, um, you know, Dublin will have to be much tighter than that. Uh, Peter Kelly pick him up, as I said, and um, more of a half back, but he's been asked to do a man marking job now, which is very difficult when you're marking that call because he moves. Puck out by Maguire, aimed at Liam Rush. That is it somehow. Lays it back to Joey Boland. Drops it in towards Ryan on the wall, but then Collins can only watch. It's a pretty good response by the league champions, considering they conceded a goal very early to Lara Corbett. Centre-half back Joey Boland having a lash from inside his own half. That's a really, really good score. Games le Teams level in the game. 
for the second time. Knocked down by Paul Schutte. Calling for it. David O'Cala. Aiming again. Towards Rhino Dwyer. Hobbits. Here's another one. Touching inside. Three temporary players around him. Tries to lay it off to the inrushing Alan McCraft, but that plan didn't work. Coming away with it here is John O'Keefe. Goes down the far way. Defending again by Lyle Corcoran. Beating own Keller. His clearance is not a good one. Easily gathered by Conor O'Mahon. Under severe pressure. Fouled eventually by Conor McCormack. And Dublin get the fray. Well, Marty, when you win ball as Nile Cochran had an important challenge on, on uh, Owen Kelly. Won the ball and then delivered a very poor ball into he just knocked it up the line to one of his own players. Conor O'Mahon went for height as well as distance. The umpire is signaling wide. The umpire is still doing it. That's uh, Charlie McAllister that's uh, doing all the waving. Glenn Ryan! We're going Ryan! Anthony Daly encouraging from the sideline. Significant, Donald, that Dublin have responded to that early goal. Yeah, that will give them good heart. But, Marty, when you're playing one less man in the forward line and, 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 a, and a player in, in the double centre-back position, you have to use the ball more judiciously. You have to use it short and put your man in direct position. And Dublin will have to continue to do that if they hope to stay in the game. First time pulled by Noel McGrath. Down towards own Kelly. Getting his first real opportunity. All he needs is a sniff of the goal bus. And for some reason, he has this ability, this wonderful ability to score under pressure. Well, he's very strong, Marty, as well, and he leans into the player and, and, and pushes off him, and that gives him a little bit of space. But an excellent score taker, great forward. Well, galloped again by Liam Rush. Noel McGrath pulling it, coming through with Shane Durkin. Very prominent in the early stages. Gives it to Liam Ryan. Thinking about scoring from that distance, he hits it well. The umpires are perfectly positioned, and that is a great start for Liam Ryan. I'll be pleased with that in uh, London Drive and Coolock. And O'Toole's club man did well from way out the field. Sides level again for the third time. Loose ball. Seamus Callan coming in. Comes back outside for his Shane McGrath. Steps aside the challenge, but the Challenged by Conor McCormack was illegal to say the least, and the referee, Cahal McAllister, is going to have a word with the right half forward. And an early yellow card here would uh, not be a good thing for Conor McCormack because there's always been a little bit of doubt about his discipline, but he's now officially on a yellow card. Former goalkeeper, in fact, with the Dublin Colleges team that beat St. Flannan's in the All Ireland final back in 2006. Now, first choice forward. Yeah, well, Shane McGrath just hesitated for a moment, fixed him, and then took him on on the inside. And uh, McCormack, uh, in these days, you just have to put your hands out and hope that the, that you catch the pair of something. Well, silly little feet to go away. The silly yellow card. Owen Kelly taps that over the bar. Simple score for him. They're back in front. 1 3 to 5. Puck out again is aimed at Liam Rush. Picked up this time by Noel McGrath. Sends it forward. John O'Brien gets there ahead of Paul Schutek. Good hands by the full forward. Twist 